Hello, my friends. I was just, uh, I just finished recording a message about love that God has given to me to share. The love heals. And once I finished recording that, I felt that the Lord spoke to me and said, Now I want you to speak a message about forgiveness. Hallelujah. All glory to God. So here is the message about forgiveness. We must forgive. So God, the Bible says, so God will forgive us. So forgive, forgiveness is also extremely powerful. Uh, because um, when we do not forgive others, uh, whether they have done um, they are on the wrong or right, does not matter. If we have not forgiven them, uh, we are in bondage. We'll feel lack of peace. We'll feel heavy. Uh, many people may say, oh, no, I have not forgiven these people, but I will never forgive. And I do not feel lack of peace. I do not feel bad about that. Well, you know, but it's very hard because the, the Lord says, if we do not forgive, God himself will not forgive us. We need to forgive others to even enter, have an eternal life. And also, uh, the enemy may make people think that they are in, at peace and they're okay. It's the lie, a lie of the devil because it does brings us to bondage. We're in bondage when we we have not forgiven them in the name of Jesus. That's what the enemy wants. The devil wants us to not forgive others and to create conflict and to create division in between people. So in the name of Jesus, we need to forgive others even if they have done wrong. Even if you are right or you think you're right, does not matter who is right or wrong. We need to go and, hey, uh, uh, forgive me. Just tell them forgive me or hey let's be let's let's leave that behind and let's move on agree to disagree and move on don't don't stay in this conflict um and don't 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 allow that division that separation between you and the people you and your family members or you and, and your relatives you and your friends and whomever it is do not allow that division to stay there which is um unforgiveness because that is bondage and that could very well lead people to hell when we're out of this world that's not me saying that's the word in the word of god we need to study the word of god so so this is very important i feel that god wants me to speak this message about forgiveness we need to forgive all people so i have a message also that god showed me uh, years ago how to forgive because many people have spoken uh, to me and said oh i don't know how to forget how to forgive it's hard to forgive uh it's so difficult to forgive i cannot forgive this person how do i do this and god has shown me actually how to forgive when we cannot forgive and here it is the word is compassion when we have compassion on that person it is easier to forgive. Let's say someone abused you. Let's say someone spoken uh, harm, harmful words against you or even against your, uh, your loved ones. Uh, let's say, for example, that has happened. Uh, it is hard for you to forgive them. What God has shown me, have compassion on them for only God knows truly what goes on in that person's mind. Only God truly knows we go, what goes in that person's heart. Only God truly knows each one of us. That is why the Bible says do not judge. Do not judge others because we do not know what goes on in their heart, the, in the intentions of their heart. Only God knows the intentions of their hearts. We speak we speak we can hear people speaking we can you know we can see their actions but we cannot see the true intentions of the heart or what goes on inside of them you know if they have a, a mental problem or chemical imbalance or hormonal problems or imbalance or any any problems that they have sometimes only god knows sometimes only that person he uh, herself or himself do not know what's going on with them but god does know so god knows which one of us all oh, glory to god thank god that he is the only only one that can judge because we will be judging everybody wrongly so that is what the Lord said do not judge and thank God we do not have the keys I know heaven and hell the only God has only God is the one that will you know know where a person will go when they pass from this earth it is not us to to decide it is up to God thank God all oh, glory to God because we would be really bad judges because we don't have the capacity that god has god is all knowing we are not all knowing so with that said if you cannot forgive someone use that tactic of 
compassion is not a tactic. You gotta have that compassion. Just ask our Lord, make me more compassionate, make me more understanding. You know, um, you gotta have the fruits of the spirit. You know, allow God to mold you, to transform you in the name of Jesus. He is the potter; we are the clay. That's what the Bible says. Pray every day, surrender to God, and God will continue to transform you, to change you, and to give you more. Uh, um, of that grace to forgive others and to love others as as Christ does, as God does. All glory to God. So we got to forgive. We got to love one another unconditionally and forgive all people even if they are wrong. We've got to be humble. The, God, the Bible says we need to be humble. Um, pride will not allow us to forgive others because we're always going to think like, oh yeah, I am right. I am not going to go to that person. I am not going to tell them I love them. I'm not going to tell them that they are good or I'm not going to tell them that I forgive them. That is pride. And, and God, that's bondage. Again, God does not want that. Let's, you know, believe pleases of God. When we are walking in a manner that pleases God in, in righteousness, God will bless us. God will sustain us. God will uh, give us supernatural peace. You know, there is peace and joy when we love people, when we are having forgiven them. There is so much peace and love because it comes from God Almighty. It's a supernatural thing. It's like God empowers us. God, God, God um, um, it's amazing. God heals us and God blesses us and, our, and, and everything around us in the name of Jesus. So we must do that's a commandment from the Lord. We must love, love one another. Love God above all things. Love God, love God first in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that um, that you have compassion on people and, and you love people unconditionally in the name of Jesus. I pray blessings over you. I pray that God will give you that. Uh, will continue to lead you and guide you. I pray for your heart in the name of Jesus to desire more of God, desire to walk in His ways, uh, for you to desire to study the Word of God, for you to desire to to walk in the manner in a manner that pleases God. In the name of Jesus Christ, all glory to God. Peace to you and joy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <music>